Arsenal Fan TV, DT, what was that before the game? 4-0, Robbie. I told you it was going to be a tight game, didn't I? Yeah, shame the players played like a bunch of cunts, though, wasn't it? <laughs> Fucking awful, Robbie. Let's not mince words. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's not sit there and try and paper over it. I've been saying it for weeks. We've been playing like... No, fuck. you said it's going to be 4-0. No, 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 listen, listen. Because I'm trying you haven't to be... Been saying, oh, I'm trying no, to be... No, 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 no. Listen, you're not playing you Devil's Advocate for me weeks. today. Not I'm not playing that. Devil's no, Advocate. No, 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 listen. You I'm said before the game we're going to win 4-0. you know why I'm trying to be positive? Because I've got dickheads online that want to sit there and constantly say that I'm negative. So I'm trying to put a positive spin on it. But I've said to you for how many weeks we're playing poorly. Showed it again. Everything was wrong today. The players, the fans. The fans should take a long, hard look at themselves as well. I complained about the fans the other week. This was Tottenham, and I'm sitting there going mad, trying to get songs going, left, right and centre. I've got people looking at me like I'm a fucking alien. Like, what's he singing? What's he doing? <laughs> one, one, five minutes to go and they're all leaving. It's Sunday afternoon. What are you going home for? Songs of praise. <laughs> fucking idiots. Sick and tired of it, Robbie. It's bullshit, man. It's I mean, bullshit. I mean, the performance, you know, f first off, you've got to say... They started off better. We came back into it yeah, and was playing minutes. very well. Yeah. For the, I'd say, last 15 minutes, playing very well. Mm -hmm. And then you went in at half time, and it was, to me, there was optimism that we're going to go out there and win this. But we right. give away a stupid penalty, yeah. goes flat again. Then we raise it again. Then towards the end, we look like we run out of steam a bit. The, the thing is, what gets said at half time? What gets said? You always know within football, score just before half time is the most crucial time to score a goal. Yeah. It normally lifts you and flattens them. But yet what it did was flatten us and lift them. And I sit there and go, what the fuck gets said at half time? And I don't want to make this about Wenger. Because everyone goes, oh, you've got an agenda, you've got an agenda, fuck off. <laughs> right? It's about what was said at half time. I genuinely want to know what was said that makes them come out so flat. I don't get it. You know, you look at Oxley Chamberlain when he come on. Are you having a laugh? That guy, yeah, he could be called Jesus and still be shit on crosses. It's like, what the fuck? And he just lets his head drop. One bad thing, and you sit there and go, mm. "How? What? What? Are you, what use are you to the team?" We got to give Spurs some credit. I thought, you know, defensively, nah. they were very. <laughs> I'm never giving Spurs credit. I ain't no, giving. but defensively they were good. Now nah, go fuck Spurs. Fuck Spurs. I ain't giving them no credit. I ain't giving them no credit. No, 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 At the end of the day, they played, listen, now. they played a draw. It's a they difficult. Play for a draw. Exactly. What they I'm for a draw. The point I'm trying to make is a difficult team to break down. You can see. I could see today why they have they have hardly conceded any goals. But they are a difficult, very well organised team at the back who break very well. Mm, but we didn't really give them any problems, did we? We didn't um, pose too many questions, did we? Mm. That is the problem. If we'd have gone out there and absolutely gave everything and was knocking on that door, mm. we'd sit here and say, you know, it's one of them days. You, what, what can you do? But it was so flat, Robbie. So flat. I'm not buying this bullshit about, oh, we played in Europe, we had to travel home. and all. Well, It's a factor. Listen, they, play, a factor. Listen, they, they travel in luxury. Yeah? It was me sat on fucking metal benches in a shit airport trying to get my backside home at six o'clock in the morning. I'm here. It's still I'm not fresh. A, listen, whether it's luxury or not, it's still not ideal. Tottenham, it's played, still the not day, ideal. Tottenham played the day after. And I thought their energy level started to drop towards the end as well. We, but, but they were. Lot, there was lots of mistakes being made in that second half by both teams, I felt. What about the previous 75 minutes? Because they were dominating us before that. Apart from that 10 minutes spell towards the end of the first half, mm. their midfield was all over us. Shaka, I thought, played really well today. He done really well. But mm. apart from that, I can't really think of anyone else. Right, and next I, game, yeah, Man United it, away, and, and that's going to be a difficult game. Well, this is Difficult the game. We ain't lost today, remember that. It feels like, it feels a, loss like a loss because we all want to beat Spurs. Mm. But we haven't lost today. We didn't lose the other day. This going in, going into Man United away, yeah. I, do you, what do you reckon? I look at the bigger picture. I'm not one of these that when we win a game go, yeah, we're top of the league. We're yeah, going to win you're everything. overreacting. No, when I'm we not overreacting. I'm not overreacting. I think you're overreacting. No, 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 no. I'll tell you why I'm not overreacting, right? Because I've been saying this for weeks and I told everyone, relax your gums. It was October. Stop getting so overhyped. So we've had two games in November. We've drawn one. Listen, one, one. Robbie, I look you're, at... You're, I, no, no, you don't no, think you're no, overreacting? No, no. I look at the bigger picture, right? I look at the way we started against Ludogorets, against a better side. We wouldn't have come back on that. I look at how much we're struggling at home because we are. Let's look at the Swansea game. Let's look at the Liverpool game. Let's look at the Southampton game. Yeah, the only one where we actually duck Middlesbrough, the only one we did something was Chelsea. So something's not right at home. Teams seem to drop back, defend deep, 
and we cannot break them down. And it's not the first time this has happened, Robbie. It's every season, and this is what we I do keep it away saying. from home as well, though. Every team plays like that away from home. We do really us. well. We do really well away from home, mm. but something's got to be done about our home form because your home form is the is the cornerstone to winning titles. Mm. And if you don't get your home form right, you're not winning titles. Mm. I want what's best for Arsenal. It's as simple as that. But right, right. now, I see that there's problems. Okay. And that's it. International break. Go and relax, man. Go no, chill. Go got, chill out. I'm not watching England anyway. That's <laughs> shit, man. <laughs>